solar panels recyclable these remote tracking systems is when you will come to know month on month what your generation is day to day what your generation is and hence you will be able to calculate ki aapka kitna savings ho raha hai and right. aap kitna towards greener environment contribute kar rahe hai so what are the common myths and misconception regarding solar uh, the maintenance cost uh, post solar installation is bare minimum your electricity cost can go as low as 0 rupees what is the solar installation process you have 78000 rupees of subsidy available welcome to unscripted with kena shah powered by shanku season 1 so today we are going to plug in into the future the future that is powered by the sun in the world where, where there is rising in the electricity bills climate changes and even for that matter energy shortages that are becoming daily conversations but the one thing here that remains constant free and infinite is solar energy joining us is a visionary and an entrepreneur who is not only lightening up homes but also transforming how india and the world thinks about renewable energy please welcome saket parikh from malibu renewables hi saket hi. welcome to the show please have a seat thank you so much so how are you good how are you i'm good thank you so saket what is solar energy so when we talk about solar energy so as per my understanding in the simplest language does it mean that it is a process of converting the sunlight into electricity so yes that is what solar energy is about okay. the sunlight hits the solar panels and the cells that are a part of the solar solar panel they convert light into electricity and that is essentially what powers your home and your industries oh okay so so saket you know what inspired you to start this journey of yours so can you just take us back to the moment or idea that got you into the space sure um, so i uh, after right after my undergraduate i ended up joining adani green energy okay. i worked with them for 3 years and i was jumping various departments i was gaining experience in all different types of departments which helped me kind of understand this industry better uh, with a deeper exposure uh, into this industry is when i realized that it has become the need of the hour right. uh, this is what um, this this industry is something that is going to uh, boom yeah. uh, precisely it is going to boom and exactly that is what the is happening why. right now yeah. everybody wants a cleaner and brighter future uh, everybody wants a better future for the generations to come right. and that is precisely what uh, inclined me to get into this also, industry so you made a very thoughtful choice initially right so getting yes. into this field <laughs> that's a very nice thought so what is like I, you have a very interesting name malibu right malibu uh, renewables yes. so how How does this name came into place for the very first time? So uh, it is basically continuing with uh, the name that our family business or the legacy has been into, okay. and uh, we've been into other businesses as well over uh, over over decades now. And hence, I just wanted to continue with that name, and we added renewables to it. So right. with the times to come, in the times to come, we hope to not just be part of the solar industry, but as a whole green energy, and try to contribute as much as we can um, on the renewable. front oh okay and so what's the mission with this company that you have so, started so for us the mission has always been uh, progress with a purpose okay um it has always been whatever we do and whatever we try to provide to our clients or to our vendors or any stakeholder of this industry it has always been with intent and integrity hmm So right. that's always been the uh, the motto or the mission for us at Malibu Renewables. Okay, so I so as per my understanding, what you shared about your mission, I feel that it is also going to accelerate the renewable energy in this country, right? Yes, of course. So what does the generation look like during the year? So basically, when the sun is out, is when the solar panel starts generating electricity because okay. there's light. Um, in the in the first half of the day is when you generally have relatively lesser generation because the sun is just out. Um, over the period of the day, in the afternoon is when the panels perform at the ideal most level because that is precisely when they get maximum light. And then over the evening and the night is when the generation stops. Uh, so to analyze a year, I would divide it in three parts. The first is the sun. summer season summer season is where you get maximum light and hence your generation that you get in those specific 2 or 3 months Even is the maximum city like ahmedabad which yes, is too do. hot yes yes you okay. you get the maximum and the best generation during the summer season monsoon yes it is rel- relatively lesser because it's cloudy right um and over over the winter season is when you get somewhere between monsoon and summer because uh, it is not cloudy like monsoon but the sun is not as harsh as right. it is in summer Okay, and how do you generally after the installation is done, you know, for any project that you do? So how do you just track? 
so there are different remote monitoring systems through which you can track the performance of the solar projects right um, at the end of the day is when you'll be able to see kitne units generate hue hai hmm. and the units generated is basically your essential savings that you will get which hmm. is what you've generated through solar so you just get an estimated idea yes right that yes so estimated yes. basically yes. an estimated so idea so through this these remote tracking systems is when you'll come to know month on month what your generation is hmm. day to day what your generation is and hence you'll be able to calculate कि आपका कितना सेविंग हो रहा है एंड आप कितना टूवर्ड्स ग्रीनर एनवायरमेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं अच्छा, the warranty of the performance of the solar pa- solar panels for the this period no oh, okay so when we talk about the warranty and the licensing so when i am installing this particular solar system you know in my house or maybe residential or commercial if we are talking about it then what kind of uh, licensing or what kind of thing should i be considering as as one of the first installer so as a uh, if you are talking from a client perspective yeah, the primary from the client's perspective correct so the primary thing is you need the intent to go for solar and right. if you are willing to do it as malibu renewables we provide a turnkey solution so whether it is from getting your site solar ready the essential infrastructural upgrades to installing solar to commissioning the project and um, essentially starting your savings is what comes in our scope uh, we also provide post commissioning services so in that case what happens is after the commissioning of the solar project uh, so some part of maintenance is required okay. and uh, we take care of that maintenance as well which is essentially cleaning the solar panels by doing this is what we can achieve the ideal generation of the solar project so when it comes to a client they they only as i said need the intent to go for solar as for the service provider like malibu renewables we have the entire infrastructure ready to ensure that the project is completed and commissioned at the earliest so that savings client ko at the earliest mil jaye we thereby gather products we procure products all kinds of accessories that go into a solar project from authorized distributors from manufacturers and by that we ensure ke jo bhi hum aapke wahan pe install kar rahe hai will eventually work for it's very authorized a, it's very authorized and, and will pro- provide you performance for a 25 year period so what's the roi or payback period that we are talking about so with the solar project you are on an average talking about a 3 year payback period okay uh, especially because of the subsidies available the project has become more and more affordable in these times specifically acha so what kind of subsidies are we talking so um, i'll divide it i'll divide this answer in two parts one okay. is the residential subsidy so residential ke cases mein there is pm surya ghar Yojana, hmm. there you have seventy-eight thousand rupees of subsidy available flat on your uh, project uh, that you solar project the that you are giving. Government gives to the user uh, to the to the client. Yes. Acha, okay. Um, second is if you are putting solar for a society's common meter, then there is eighteen thousand rupees per kilowatt fee subsidy that the government provides, which again makes it, the project highly affordable. Right. In case of industries, uh, the government supports all kinds of industries through solar loans. Okay. So whenever you apply for a solar loan, there is an interest subsidy that you get, and that is what makes the project highly affordable and highly attractive. In fact, for industrial units. Okay, and also when you mentioned about Malibu Renewables, the USP that you have is the turnkey projects, right? So when we talk about the maintenance, which you already mentioned earlier, so the maintenance is not of the higher cost, right? It is like set and forget. Post the so, installation, right? So uh, how it works is that maintenance. in terms of costing is less than a percent of the entire project cost okay. but how this works is that we need to clean the solar panels specifically mm. considering the dusting that is there in the atmosphere it settles on the solar panels right. and because of the dust the light cannot pass through and hit the cells and give you the ideal generation mm. so now what we need to do is basically clean the solar panels so that all this dust is removed off right. of the panels and then we get the ideal generation now this cleaning happens through different methods there are dry cleaning systems there are wet cleaning systems but you provide um, that 
services. We provide right? all kinds of services, precisely. So, Saket, earlier you mentioned about upgrading the infrastructure, right? So, what upgradation are you talking about? I'll give an example to this. Sure. So, a lot of clients, they have on their factory uh, cement sheds installed as a roof. Yeah. Now, cement sheds are something on which you cannot install solar because it's quite brittle in nature. So, you okay. cannot put up so much of weight on the shed. Right. Now, uh, what as... As a turnkey solution, what Malibu Renewables provides is first upgrading the site hmm. to get it solar ready. So here what we do is we change the cement sheds to tin sheds. Right. And for that, whatever essential um, additional purlins or rafters are required to kind of install the Your tin sheds. Does that. Yes, so we yeah. provide entire turnkey solution. So those are the infrastructural upgrades. Now, once that is done is when the site has become solar ready. Hmm. And hence, we start with installation of solar panels and then commissioning the project and then start savings okay so can you just share some of the benefits related to solar energy sure uh, basically solar is a one-time investment but it provides you savings over a 25 year period 30 year period okay uh, for that period your electricity cost can go down to zero uh, the maintenance cost of uh, the a solar project is bare minimum Hmm. Um, because government provides such great Subsidy, subsidies right. on weather industrial or residential uh, solar projects, uh, it, it has become even more affordable and more attractive for clients. Right. So, uh, these are the benefits. So, what are the common myths and misconceptions regarding solar? So, uh, regarding solar, a lot of times people feel that during rainy season, uh, you won't be able to generate electricity through solar, but that is in fact uh, a myth because hmm. uh, in during during rainy season, you do generate quite substantial amount of electricity through solar and okay. obviously that helps you saving on electricity costs. Um, a lot of times clients feel that solar installation would mm. gen damage the roof of uh, their of their home or their factory um, and that is also not true because now such kinds of technologies are available mm. that can help you install with safer and um, assured ways. Mm. Um, and uh, people feel that solar would be a costly project. It would be very expensive to put up a solar plant. But like we discussed earlier, it is not expensive. In fact, the ROI is very good and it's a very good deal to have over a 25 year period of getting savings. And it's also very customizable depending on the size Correct. that you Precisely. have. Right. Yes. So you can install accordingly. Yes, we do. We right. Do. So what is the solar installation process? So primarily it starts with site analysis to understand area available to install solar. Okay. Then comes uh, preparing a 3D model and a generation report to understand what the generation would be of in within that much of area. Okay. Uh, that helps prepare the commercial and the technical proposal. Uh, which once the client approves comes the installation part and the commissioning of the solar project and once the commissioning is done you start with the post commissioning services right. which is essentially the cleaning and the maintenance side maintenance. of the and the re remote tracking services okay so can you also share a few benefits related to solar sure so uh, solar is essentially a one time investment okay. but it provides you savings over a 25 year lifetime hmm. um, because of the government subsidies that one time investment has become even more affordable now. Uh, the maintenance cost uh, post solar installation is bare minimum. Your electricity cost can go as low as zero rupees. Um, and at the end of the day, you're going green. So right. you're contributing to a brighter future, brighter tomorrow. So I mean, solar has all the benefits. If I just have to make a projection, I feel solar is going to become like a Wi-Fi expected to be there everywhere. I, so? Yes, I'm sure it will be in the times to come. Of course, that's going to happen. So thank you, Saket, for your valuable insights. Thank you so much. And it was a pleasure to have this conversation. Thank you.